Well then, let's speak to Mr. Joseph Daudu, a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association. He joins us from Abuja, and we shall be getting his views on some of the uh, things that are happening, especially the justice orderly, the Sijan justice orderly's home, and some of the issues relating to the rule of law. Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Mr. Joseph Daudu, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Oh, she is. Thank you, Sharon, for having me. Uh, Let me begin by getting to know your view um, as a senior member of the bar. Uh, what the implication of uh, the justice orderly uh, home siege is? Uh, because when we look at what has happened in other climes, uh, especially in the United States and the invasion of the Watergate Hotel, and what happened with the government of the day and eventual. Uh, discovery or investigation. What's your view on what has happened? Uh, it's uh, very bad uh, dent. Nigeria's placement in the scheme of uh, democratic nations. Now, you, you, you'd find that uh, the Attorney General was who distance himself from the event. Uh, well, it's really because he perceives that it's a very terrible thing that has happened image the government of the day. In reality, and as a matter of perception, nobody will condone or would tolerate a situation where the residence of a very senior justice, the Supreme Court, is headed at the dead of night and uh, for no just cause, uh, reasons are not given. Now, we have to look at it deeper than this. First, I must in myself with the position of the Nigerian Bar Association. Uh, at, uh, in any way, uh, distance or differ from anything that my president has said. Secondly, uh, let us look at it from a perspective. Should the, should the a whole episode have gone wrong, and that is some came to harm in uh, Justice Odili's house, what would be the position of government today? And that is why I think the Honorable Attorney General was unable to provide any plausible answer when he was referred to the episode in 2016, because there has been a, been a precedent where government agencies have taken liberty to assault the peace and terms of justice and justice is in Nigeria. And so what has just happened uh, may be seen as a similar uh, the, or the best that can be uh, uh, from which it can be looked at. Uh, some people thought it was a black ops uh, uh, operation. And uh, the government also had uh, to want to uh, bring up again. But government, now the danger is how would anyone respond? How would anyone respond if told that print agents are at his gate and they will have a want to come in? Should they be allowed in or? should the citizen resist? Because you may not know what government would at the end of the day. Will they be denied that nothing is known by them about it? So it has a very uh, tragic effect on the administration of law and order in this country. And so there is the need, as the MBA has said, for the matters to go beyond the 
Inspector General of Police for the matter to be at the level of the president of this country. Because whether you take it or not, the first suspect will be agencies of the federal government. And what is it that of the 14 people that were arrested or said to be involved in the matter, only two have spoken. Or only two have been shown to the post investigation of the Inspector General of Police is far from complete. We, we don't know what was said to the magistrate. The magistrate is a key connecting road to the whole issue. And he is one of the people that can say it, whether he was, he was motivated by the Attorney General's office or any other uh, office to sign the warrants. Uh, uh, uh. The Mr. Audu, let me quickly. Yes, please. Yeah, let me let me quickly ask you this. You touched on one very sensitive aspect of the Justice uh, Orderly's own siege, which is uh, the, where the order originated from. How the magistrate granted the order. Yes. Who brought uh, the order? The facts in the matter, because before a magistrate can give an order of court, there might be processes that should be followed. Uh, what do you think could have gone wrong for, because we understand now that there's a process of recanting now uh, after the, after the, the matter had uh, erupted into a major controversy? Is it doubtful to buy hook, line, and sinker, this syndic criminal syndicate uh, thesis that is being trust in our thesis? A criminal syndicate would simply follow the order of uh, a magistrate. It will not take the pain to a real magistrate to go and obtain an order. If I know how real criminals think, they don't care. They would simply go with a document that is forged. Between the time it will be taken to and verify the order, they, all of them would have uh, vaporized. So, the hand of ISO is definitely in this matter because anybody who goes in broad daylight magistrate must identify himself or must be known to magistrate to come from a reliable source. Once that happens, that is why I say the key witness in this matter is the magistrate. Be able but, to so, say, Mr. Daudu, the yes, question I, I was believe. I was trying to ask is a Mr. Daudu, the question I was asking to ask is a question mark on the processes of obtaining a court order. Is there? Uh, I mean, for your long years of experience in the bar, uh, and what transpires if our viewers who are non-lawyers, who are non-judicial officials, who do not know how the processes go. So it, it brings to the mind or it questions the veracity of the process of obtaining a court order. Does it mean just anybody, there is no process of verif verification of anyone who approaches uh, the judge or a magistrate to ob obtain a, a court order? Is it that porous? It is not porous. No magistrate will issue a court order, a non uh, and it people approaching the magistrate for such orders. The magistrate will know where the agency is from, will check foremost whether that agency is a jurist and whether that agent has cases before him. That is the only basis upon which the magistrate can be process. You cannot appear from the blues, head to court, present magistrate and this is such a so the magistrate if the investigations are open if they are transparent if they are done uh, in a neutral uh, venue would reveal much more than i think we have been told could there have been a mistake on the part of the magistrate possibly that is left for the magistrate to say, but by his uh, training, 
by his experience, he knows what to verify and those whom to call before he signs a doubtful warrant. Because first of all, the official from the, the, the agency seeking the order must be well known to the district and must have what they call the fiat of an attorney general or the head of the department to deal with the court. So it's not just a matter of uh, appearing from the blues and seeking an order. And my view is that if it's a criminal enterprise, of course, they simply wouldn't bother to go and collect a real order from a magistrate. They would simply forge their own orders so, and go and use it. Okay, so that means that uh, there, there is a deeper intention uh, from what you're explaining to us beyond the surface. If there, uh, this indicates, uh, allegedly, uh, the, the expertise is to forge and all of that, they don't need to go to the magistrate to obtain a, a proper court order. They, don't they probably would have uh, forged magistrate. one. Yeah, that's uh, okay. So, now, you know, uh, you know, the MBA you know, has set up... Yes, go ahead, please. Yes, I was going to say, you know that government normally calls this kind of things a sting operation. That terminology is from them. Uh, apparently, this one went awry, but it's pretty much to begin blames. That's why the minimum that is being called for is a transparent inquiry into the matter. I think government, the attorney, the attorney general was more concerned in clearing his own name in his personal capacity. That, that every human being has uh, a duty to clear his name. However, too, duty to clear his own name and image, not only for the purposes of domestic issues, not have regard at home, but their internal image is at stake. Not boomerang on Nigeria today. It may boomerang in months yeah, so, uh, or uh, years after. Mr. Daudu, and that's why I brought the, in the instant, from starting from the very first question to you tonight, I brought the issue of the Watergate scandal, President Nixon in the United States, and how the government of that time responded to uh, the invasion or the raid on uh, uh, the Watergate Hotel that housed the D Democratic Party uh, office at the time. And when you're talking about sting operation and in this, is there a kind of connection in that sense, I mean, to make sense of what you're saying? Yeah, yes. You see, what is, whether it's a sting operation gone bad and the denials are being made now, what is important is that government must be seen, not maladies personal capacity, but government must be seen to look at and investigate what is the, is who position of this matter. I know that in so, some So to wrap up now, Mr. Uh, Mr. Daudu, what would you be expecting the government to have yes. done to handle this better or how the way you think the government should have handled it? Yeah, although the president is out of the country on uh, national duties for Nigeria, but he's ably represented by the vice president who is a uh, senior counsel. I think that by a high Commission of should have been set up to unravel the matters. And evidence and people kept in very frozen format, meaning in the point where they cannot be. In. That is the minimum that by now should government have treated as a more serious matter than it is in it. Because had it happened to the jurist on that day. It, this is not what would have been saying. We, the Supreme Court mm. has given judgments in politicians, governments. Those who have an interest at stake have not been happy. And therefore, a lot of people have motives to want to do this. It's only in the interest of unraveling the truth that government ought to set up a powered inquiry. And I right. wasn't too happy when MPA set up person to investigate. They should have put up a high-powered committee too to do an independent investigation. Mr. Joseph Daudu, former
President of the Nigerian Bar Association, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, thank you so much for your insight into this matter, which of course will be waiting for these different yeah. investigations to come out for Nigerians to get a true position of things.